But take a look at these numbers just reported by Statistics Canada this morning for the month of January. We lost just over 212,000 positions in the country. A lot of those were part-time jobs. A lot of them were concentrated in Ontario and Montreal. But as a result as well, the unemployment rate rose to 9.4%. Uh, so this is a, a substantially uh, difficult month. We know the reasons why, of course, the pandemic, the shutdowns over the Christmas season. So during the reporting season for Statistics Canada, a lot of Canadians were unemployed uh, indeed. Take a look at some of the uh, industries that are affected for obvious reasons. Accommodation and food services, that uh, was down 8%, over 8%. Retail trade, down over 7%. Uh, but all, all of the uh, these uh, uh, infrastructure, culture, recreation uh, were all down considerably during the time. Now, just to touch on the, the part-time nature of these jobs, a lot of these jobs were part-time. Uh, again, a lot of them were concentrated in Ontario and Quebec, where the service industry uh, is, is the most pronounced as far as how many people are in those industries. And so an extremely disappointing month to economists, 212,800 jobs lost. Welcome back to the Canada Info Up channel. My name is Wolo. Um, please forgive me. I have been missing in action for almost two weeks. Yeah, almost two weeks. I'm so sorry. I have been super, super busy. And I want to say thank you to all of you who have, you know, kind of been bombarding me with too many, <laughs> too many emails. How are you doing? And how is everything with you i know the pandemic is still ongoing with the second do they call it second wave and um a more difficult strain guys please stay safe really please do stay safe and protect yourself protect your loved ones um the year is still fresh so please stay safe okay so back to today's video you must have seen the intro i just wanted to quickly do this video um, a brief one just to inform you guys, um, people who are planning to come into Canada. And of course, you know, if you're new to this channel, I talk about life in Canada, immigrating to Canada and everything. And I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. So I am not an agent. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. Check the description box. You will see um, the website for the consultation booking. So if you want to talk to me for an extensive period, you have to book a session but if you just want to do one minute chat in the dm then it's fine that anything more than one minute you have to book a consultation because i mean the time is really really scarce this period <laughs> and what the, wait valentine is coming okay yes valentine valentine okay we'll discuss that i'll be coming on live on saturday anyway i am hoping I have the time. I'm hoping I have the time to come on live on Saturday. Please bear with me. Anyway, I'm hoping I come on live on Saturday and um, let's see how it goes. Okay, so back to today's video. You must have seen the intro and that is Canada lost about 213,000 jobs in the month of January alone. And that is because lots of places in Ontario and Montreal, they had to lock down. And it affected sales in the retail sector, in the hospitality sector, in restaurants, in so many things. And that was why you had this job loss um, at this high rate. The current unemployment rate, as you must have seen, is about nine point something percent. I don't know if I got it right. Is it nine point something percent? You will see you see the correct figure, which is still quite low. Well, for the population of Canada, some people will say it is very high. But I just think it's still low because the, the population is still growing. And for us to have about 9% unemployment as of January is still something that is um, still low. And it was due to the lockdown because of this second strain. And of course, you know, the government has put in some measures in place. Anybody who is going to be landing in Canada, you will have to pay the government $2,000 to put you in a place for quarantine. So students who are coming this period, you just have to have $2,000 to give to the government. They will look for a place where they will quarantine you. If you are not positive, then they will release you. But if you are positive, of course, you have to remain there. So these are the updates that have just been going on. And um, I would say that it is not to scare anybody. 
because the jobs that are affected are the jobs that have been affected even when COVID was still um, on last year. It's not like it changed. It didn't affect some other sectors like the information technology sector. It didn't affect it. The healthcare sector, it didn't affect it. In fact, let me give you one story. One nurse committed suicide. It's a sad thing. One nurse committed suicide because of stress. Because of stress. She was just stressed out because the work was too much. And Canada needs nurses this period. They need healthcare workers this period. Unfortunately, doctors are not in the list of people they need. If not, you would see provinces doing provincial nomination draws for doctors. I don't know why. Only some few provinces still have um, a pathway for doctors, but they are kind of selective though. They're looking for doctors from Australia, United States, and United Kingdom. Any other medical doctor from any other place, it's not possible. But nurses anywhere, from anywhere in the world, they are looking for nurses um, to come and work because the demand is actually high. And of course, you can't work as a nurse per se. You just have to work um, as a continuing care assistant or as a personal support worker as a nurse um, until you get your license because you know the occupation is regulated. So, um, yeah, so while some industries are losing jobs, some other industries are actually gaining jobs. And yeah, that's the, that's the situation of life. You know, some people will say life is not balanced <laughs> anyway. So this is information I came to share today. Um, it's not to discourage anyone who is coming into Canada this period or who is planning to immigrate to go ahead with your plans of immigration to go ahead and um, create your express entry profile, evaluate your credentials, try as much as possible to get the highest band scores and also try to start learning French. And I am anticipating that with Biden being in power, there's a possibility of having um, the express entry draw scores coming down. I don't know. They didn't do a draw last week. I don't know why. Maybe this week, maybe tomorrow or maybe, I don't know. Let's hope and see what the scores might be this coming week. So this is the information I said I'll come to share today. Please forgive me. I disappeared for a while. And that's because a lot of things are going on behind the scene. As you can see, I have a moving train. You should know that when a train is moving, you cannot stop the train. Yeah, that's why I have this picture. It's a motivational picture for me. Um, anytime I look at it, I see myself as this moving train. And you can see there is no... It's not stopping for anybody. It's just moving on its own. It's just like, <laughs> you know now, you should be a moving train just like this train. <laughs> okay, so let me not talk too much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you on my live on Saturday. I am not so sure. Please forgive me if I don't come on live on Saturday. Forgive me. I am not so sure. But if I'll come on live, um, I think I'll put the post up on thursday or friday if i will but if i don't come on live on saturday maybe i'll come on live on sunday i think i should come on live on sunday yes i think sunday is better okay thank you so much for watching and see you on my live on sunday have a beautiful day Bye bye